Awesome, guys. Thanks for showing up. We do appreciate it. Me and Joe are ready to uh, give you guys a good webinar. We're going to go for about an hour here, uh, maybe even longer. Who knows? Me and him get rock and rolling. It, <laughs> it could go even longer. So, um, yeah, but, for sure. Um, one, one thing we're going to do is ask you, have you guys and ask questions. We want to get what you want to know um, on this webinar. So there'll definitely be multiple opportunities to do that. So uh, get your questions ready um, and we're going to hear from you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Joe brings up a good point. Start firing them questions out right away. Um, if you guys got the questions, um, get, get, them, get them ready to go and you guys can shoot them to us. And uh, we're going to be more than happy to answer them questions for you. So be prepared for them. Be, or get them prepared for us. And we appreciate it. So, all right. We're at 7 o'clock, guys. We uh, looks like we got, we got them still logging in. So we appreciate everyone being here. Thanks, everyone, for showing up. This is the Dirt Soldiers MX Training Academy MX Coach Webinar. This is the Williams MX Compound Webinar. Learn from professional motocross coaches. And discover the eight motorcycle fundamentals, the techniques, the physics. Right, Joe? You got it. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for being here on time, ready to go. It's the top of the hour, so we're just going to rock and roll here. Uh, this webinar um, is about this motocross school that we're doing. Scoob uh, and I have, are coming together one more time to do another school. And another guy who's not here with us is Joe Bonifacio out of New York, uh, uh, amateurmotocross.com. He's also going to be doing the school. So we got three coaches will be at this upcoming school in Spartansburg. Yep, in Spartansburg, South Carolina. It's um, um, actually called Cowpen, South Carolina, which is really close to Spartansburg. And I'm um, looking forward to it. Me and Joe have done, and Joe, uh, we call him Joe B. Um, he's a, we got Joe D and Joe B. We also Joe call him New York Joe. We also call him New York Joe. That is true. I like New York Joe. That's what I that's what I like to call him. But Joe B, New York Joe will be there. And we did a, a school a couple months back there in Dormtown. We had great success at that school. Um, and a lot of students had a, uh, some major breakthroughs. And uh, if you guys have uh, any guys that or I see some people that were on the, at the Dormtown school or are on the webinar. So um, you guys, um, you can speak to that of, of how how that school affected you, and what breakthrough you has you guys had. If you don't mind, we'd appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so it's our second time doing this, and um, we're gonna have a blast. So I'm, I'm gonna introduce myself for people that maybe are not familiar with me or Joe. I'm Dirt. I'm Scoo from Dirt Soldiers Motocross Training Academy. We have Joe from MXCoach.com on the webinar today. Um, I've been doing this um, for 17 years. Uh, my company, like I just said, is Dirt Soldiers Motocross Training Academy. I own a private facility in Loretto, Pennsylvania, where it's really cold right now. Um, so some people also call me the traveling motocross trainer because I'm all over the place. Um, I'm back home right now, but I spent a lot of time down south helping students have breakthroughs. And that's where I'm off to this Friday, back down there to do that, that, that thing, that motocross training. Um, but yeah, so that's what I do. I, I, I work here at my private training facility in Loretta, PA, um, teaching beginner, intermediate students, even pro riders, the fundamental techniques to have breakthroughs, you know, to, to, to learn to uh, control confidence and flow, how to get cool control confidence and flow on a motocross bike. OK, um, and there's there's some techniques that I learned from Joe myself and the techniques that I had myself that will get you there and can get you there quick. And it, once you learn, once you master them techniques, um, you know, it's just a matter of, of you will be willing to do it, willing to go out there and practice them. And it'll come to you. Also own the Motocross Training Academy. Um, it's an online service uh, teaching the same same stuff, just online. And it's called the Motocross Training, Tra Training Academy. Like I said, I've been doing this for 17 years and uh, absolutely love it. I was a corrections officer and retired from that, worked my way up. I was an uh, amateur rider who had no clue what he was doing on the track and just went out there and busted my butt. And one day made a decision, made a commitment to myself, declared to myself that I am going to do this. I'm going to break through and a whole new world opened up to me. And um, that's what led me here to where I'm sitting beside Joe right now. We're doing these schools because it never let off when I actually stepped up and, and made a commitment to do this. So that's me. 
uh, rambling on there long, but uh, again, thanks you guys for being here and I'm looking forward to rocking out this webinar. I'll let Joe take over now. Yeah, thank you guys. So my name's Joe Degano. I own MX Coach. You can find me at mxcoach.com. Uh, like Scoob, I've been uh, doing professional coaching for 17 years as well. Um, I used to race AMA Pro Motocross back in the day. Uh, you know, you won't find me in the history books or anything like that, but I did race pro level and I was certainly out to, uh, you know, turn pro and I, since I was 15 years old. So, you know, I, I have a, a heck of a background in discovering what does it take to perform at that level? And I've had many coaches and mentors along the way in many disciplines, not just motocross, but including motocross, uh, in, in which I started in 2001 was a, a total comprehensive program, MX Coach. If you go to the website, it puts all the fundamentals of motocross in one program. So we do technique, not stuff that I made up. This is fundamental laws of physics, which we'll get into there. Working with amateurs that want to go pro. And I've turned many amateurs that were either, you know, good, good amateurs, uh, really great amateurs and guys that you would never have heard of and they've uh, got their pro license and are racing pro or have in the past and they've accomplished many great things. So that's kind of my specialty is working with people that really want to do something in racing. Uh, now that being said, uh, what we have to offer, you know, works for beginners, love training beginners. Why? Cause it gets them on the right path with the right techniques, the right understanding of how a motorcycle works. So they're safer, have more fun and confident rider. Love working with vets. Same thing. A lot of them look, I'm a vet rider too. I'm not out there to win a championship anymore. I want to have fun and have a good time with my, my buddies. Well, vets that are coming back into it, love working with them, give them some really great fundamentals uh, so they can be confident, relaxed and be able to do, you know, things safely without breaking their bones. Uh, not, not that there's a guarantee in that in motocross. Um, but, you know, the other thing that I really love to do is working with racers. No matter what level you're at, uh, whether it be you're just starting racing or you're an intermediate and want to do something, uh, that's what I love, right, is what does it take to get it to the next level? What's missing? What, what is the game I really want to play? And, and, and anyway, that's, that's my background. Back over to you, Scoob. Anything you want to add to uh, what we're doing? Scoob, are you locked out? <laughs> we lost Scoob. All right, why well, Scoob's getting his internet connection back. <laughs> so we're doing a school in, uh, like we said, Spartansburg area, Williams MX Training Compound in Cowpen, South Carolina. Uh, it's a three-day school. And basically, uh, the first day is the eight fundamental fundamental laws of motorcycle physics. Uh, those of you that have worked with Scoob or me or done a class in the past, you've already graduated from that. You know what those eight fundamentals are. Um, and we're going to then do the next two days, the advanced course. So the advanced course is not for advanced motocrossers. It's for advanced riders that already know the fundamentals. And now they're ready to uh, take it to the next level in performance. Why do we do it that way? Simply because, Scoob, you're back. Can't hear you. Turn your microphone on. Can you guys hear me? Hey, there you are. Sorry about that. Um, the joys of technology. <laughs> I just crashed right off that. But I, I imagine Joe took right over and did a great job. So apologize yeah, just, for the inconvenience. I was just telling them about the school. So it's two, two schools in one. You can do all three days. Mm -hmm. You can't just do the advanced course unless, unless you've worked with Scoob individually or you've been in a school of ours before and you've got the fundamentals, the eight fundamentals. So even if you're an AMA pro racer, uh, sorry, you can't do the advanced course until you do the eight fundamentals. Why? Because it just simply works. We want to have everybody on the same page. Now Correct. on, on Saturday, we're doing the eight fundamentals. So, you know, you either do uh, all three days at once or you do the two days advance if you've already worked with us or do all three days and get a, a refresher either way. Yeah, Joe. And, and, and the um, as far as 
you know, people that m maybe been through the school before, it, it's not a bad thing to go through them fundamentals. They're, they're the key to it all, right? So um, even if you've done them a bunch of times, it's always good to have a refresher on that and go back through them eight fundamentals. No matter if you think you have, you even told me, and we talked about this before, and I'm the same, and I come from the same thing. You can ask many pros, hey, what are the eight fundamentals? And most of them look at you with a blank stare. They they don't know them. They don't it's know like all a, the eight there's fundamentals. Eight. There's eight. Yeah. There is. Eight. <laughs> it's really eight fundamentals. What, what are they? You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it harks back. Yeah, yeah. Like, any, like any sport, okay? And, and, and this is, you know, part of the power of what Scoob and I do is, is that, we actually teach fundamentals. So you're not going to come to one of our schools and we're going to go, yeah, go faster. Oh, uh, drag your front brake through the rut. We're not going to do any of that nonsense, all these high level advanced moves to show you and impress you of all these cool things that you didn't know. Nope, not at all. We're going to break it down like any coach does in any other sport that you've been involved with or any other sport you ever heard of. And that is, being masterful in the fundamentals of that sport. Um, if, if I love to tell the Michael Phelps story, you know, the great Olympian, the greatest swimmer on earth, the guy goes faster through the water than any other uh, person ever alive. And he's got the medals to prove it. Absolutely. And so when you go join the swim team, uh, you don't just get to thrash in the pool and go harder like you guys are doing in your motocross bikes unload the truck and go thrash around the track going harder and faster no the coach is going to say look um i like that you're enthusiastic but let me show you how to do this front crawl stroke it's the same stroke that we've studied michael phelps with and it works how do i know it works because he's won so many gold medals with it and you say to him that's okay coach that's phelps style i got my own style <laughs> and so, you know, what one of the things we do is have you look at the pro riders and videos of the pro riders and photos of the pro riders and start to see the techniques that they're using that the regular person says that's their style. That's not their style. And if you look at the top five guys, they're all using these eight fundamental techniques over and over. Now, you they're right in front of your face, but you can't see it. Part of that is we open that up so you can now see the fundamentals and go, oh, you mean uh, Roxon doesn't ride on the balls of his feet because that's his style. He actually does that to control the bike. Oh, yeah, that's right. See, you guys know to ride with your elbows up and you know to ride with the balls of your feet on the pegs, but you have no idea why. You think that's cool. You think it's something you should do. But if you got it, that like, oh, my gosh, that gives me control. That gives me control. No wonder Roxon does it. No wonder Dungy rides like that. No wonder Stuart rides like that. Oh, I get it. That's how they control their bike. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's yeah. what the fundamentals are about. Go ahead, Scoop. No, I was going to say, yeah, just back you up there a little bit. It opens up a whole new world for you. Um, you know, and what this stuff actually does and controls, you know, the, the control of the motorcycle. And when you have control, um, it opens up a whole new world to your riding. Breakthroughs happen um, instead of like just reading or seeing a YouTube video that get the elbows up. All right, let me go out and get the elbows up, you know. But you actually, you know, in our school, you learn the fundamental of why that elbow, why them elbows need to be up. And you practice it and see other people doing it and and you learn through. Yeah, through and, and, and you discover for yourself like, oh, we run you through drills. We show you how to practice um, and you discover through this. Oh, that works. Not like that's a good idea. See, it, you know, it's close to January, right? All you guys got a good idea about a New Year's resolution. Well, good ideas you don't act on. But when you discover something like, oh, oh, that works, you now see it differently. So it's not like a good idea to ride with my elbows out and up. It works. Mm -hmm. And that's really what our schools are about. See, I can give you a bunch of information and it will make no difference in your behavior. 
that's not good coaching. And that's why we say we're professional motocross coaches is we're going to act, interact with you a different way than your school, your teacher at school does lecturing you. No, no, we're going to have you discover for yourself. Don't believe me that there's eight fundamentals. Don't believe me. That'd be the worst thing you could do. Discover for yourself the eight fundamentals one at a time and go, whoa, that works. And so look, the, the advanced course is taking building on top of that. So no matter what level rider you are, if you've got those eight fundamentals, now we're going to build on top of that in the advanced course. Why? Because you're now in sync with the fundamental laws of physics, right? There are laws of physics. And a motorcycle has two wheels and gyroscopic action. You know, there's certain things it can and can't do. Right, so once you're in sync with the laws of physics, now we can take it to the next level. Anything to add to that, Scoob? No, I agree completely, yes. Um, I was just looking over here at the comments real quick, and we have Andy who asked, what are the dates for the three-day class in uh, Calpens? And Andy, they are February 17th, 18th, and 19th. Um, just to give you guys all a heads up, I see you asked that question. I want to touch on that. I think I don't, I, I, lo I was, you know, had that technical difficulty and, and fell off there. Um, does, have you touched on Joe, what, what, how them days are the 17th, 18th, 19th? No, let, let me go into that. So, yeah. uh, the 17th is Saturday, the 18th is Sunday, a 19th is a Monday, which is president's day, a uh, holiday. So it's a three day weekend. And so we're there for the three days. And, you know, we go from eight to six. Yep. And the 17th is the, uh. Is the eight fundamental techniques school. So that that's the first day. You have to go through that first day um, to uh, join the advanced school, which is going to be on the 18th and 19th. Okay. Now, if you trained with me before, um, you can you can join into that advanced school. But my suggestion and my thing would be to join all three days. Okay. You get a package deal on that, and and you're and it, it's it, it's only it's there to you're going to have breakthroughs and it's going to help you to join all three days, even if you've been through it before. Okay, but if you are, if you've never trained with me or Joe, um, the 17th, um, you definitely got to join that that day, that first day to join the other two days. So you can go to mxcoach.com, click on register, and all the schools will show up with the pricing and more information about each one. So the package deal is $649 all three days or $299 for the one fundamentals day or Four ninety nine for the two day advance course. I hope I got that right. <laughs> I yes, I do. Yes, I do. I got that right. <laughs> you got it right, Joe. All right, so you can you can get your info there. You can register online there and get more info. But right now, let's let's get some questions. What do you guys want to know about motocross or the school or what are you dealing with that you want some coaching on? Yeah, guys, uh, get your questions. Start firing them into the uh, chat box there. And we'll, we'll 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 answer these questions for you. Let's let me take a little look through here and see if we got any. Um, okay. Here's one from Emil. Emil, one thing I'm struggling with is where do I look in corners? Far ahead, okay, but do you fix your eyes on one spot and then move further to a new one? Or is it more dynamic around the arc of each of the corner? One problem I have is that when I look far ahead, I have a tendency to fall to the inside. Yeah, great question. Great question. Emil, I think it is. Did I get your name pronounced right, Emil? That's what it looks like, yeah. Email. Okay. All right, so here, here's an answer to that question. The, 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 the easy answer is yes, that's right. That's what you do. You look as far ahead as you can. Norway, it's gear. Gear? Gary? Jerry? Well, we really have an international call. We got someone from Norway here. Yeah, we got someone from Nor Norway. That's great. Okay, so, so let me say a bit about that. Yes, uh, that is an advanced technique that the further I look down the, the course, the track, the slower it will occur to me that I'm going. Uh, the, the, the closer I look to right in front of me, 
the faster it will occur to my brain that I'm going faster. No different than when you're in your car on a freeway and you look way, way, way ahead. Doesn't seem like you're going fast. Stick your head out the window and look straight down at the road and it looks like you're going a million miles an hour. Okay, so we want to deal with not how fast I'm going. We want to deal with how it occurs for my brain on how fast I'm going. And one way I do that is train myself to get my vision way out front and widen my vision. And, you know, we go into this. This is a big piece of the advanced course. Uh, one of the things that keeps my vision in front of me in my face is fear. OK, so, you know, uh, next time you, you're going to go through the rocker whoops on a new track that you haven't, your body's tight, your vision's narrow and focused and you can't relax and look up and wide so i have to build some confidence in the obstacles that i'm doing which means lots of practice to be able to train my brain that it's okay i got this in which i can relax my body get my vision out and wide okay uh, and we show you how to do that systematically, piece by piece, but it's a big part of racing. See, to Dungey, and I use Dungey a lot because I love that guy. He's just a, a great champion in every sense of the world. Word. Yeah. Um, to Dungey, it doesn't occur to him that he's going too fast. Uh, but it, if you got on the back of Dungey's bike, you'd be like, oh my God, this is way too fast because your brain processes it differently you got to start and build so same with your vision you start bringing out forward and seeing where you get triggered if with a fear reaction which brings it down tight and then you deal with that to get some competency in that that's a long answer to a question yeah and i can back that up joe just saying a little bit dad a little bit that was a great answer but uh what i call the two-foot box so when you're riding looking right down at the front of your fender you're riding in what we call a two-foot box. And guess what? A motocross is a game of anticipation, right? You've got to anticipate. There's, I mean, we're, we're dealing with a motocross track here. We can name a thousand things. Just the way they toiled, uh, uh, tilled the soil, um, rots, breaker bumps, woos, jumps. And you can't, uh, you've got to anticipate that stuff and be ready for it. Um, you can't ride looking right at the front of your fender, not anticipating this stuff, riding what we call that two-foot box. So that's another reason why you have to look out there and, and be ready for this stuff that's coming up. You're about to face these obstacles of the track. Absolutely. It's awesome, Scoob. Hello, Omar. Welcome. Hello, Jody. So, <laughs> so, you know, any other questions you got? What do you guys want to know about the school or what we do? Any other ones? Who wants to come on live with us and talk? If you got a microphone, you can come on live. Yeah, absolutely. We got any brave souls out there that want to uh, actually have an interaction with us in coaching with you? Love to have an interaction. Let me see here. We could do that. I Let me click this over. I think if I go and they can actually join right in and ask us questions other than the chat. Let me see if I yeah, can set can that raise up. Raise your hand. See the hand? It says raise hand. If you hit, hit that. Yep. You can, you can get your uh, hand up and then Scoob can uh, invite you as a new presenter. I can invite you in. Yep. Yep. We have an, uh, we have a uh, Aaron here. We have a. Um... Okay. Omar, are you in? You want to come in? You got a microphone and cam? Let's see here. Andy says, what is the school, Scoob? And Joe is hosting in Calpen, uh, January 27th. So, Andy, that's what we're um, – it's, it's, um, uh, we're talking about that right now. What, what we're going over is it's February 17th, 18th, and 19th. Um, we're going to do a big uh, – No, he's talking about the January 27th school. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I misread that. Um, that's the school I'm doing, um, Andy, down there at the same track that me and Joe are going to be on February 17th, 18th, and 19th. So you can contact me and, and we can discuss that. Okay. All right. It looks like uh, Ben wants to talk. Can you invite him in? Yeah. Let me see here. Hello. 
Okay, I clicked. Let's see. Okay, Ben, are you? I, I opened you up. Um, Ben, are you seeing anything you have to maybe click on? You you should be good to jump in here with us. Let's see. Did you did you select him when he had his hand up and then invite presenter? Correct. Yep. Okay. Huh. Ben, you got your microphone on. Got your microphone, Ben. All right. Well, while we're waiting for Ben to get on, let me tell you a little bit more about the advanced course. Okay. So once we got these fundamentals down. Um, on, on our first day, okay, we're now going to jump into, you know, what really is the source of performance in racing. And so we, we have a lot of notions on what it takes to be uh, successful, what it takes to accomplish something, right? So go ahead in the chat and tell me, you know, what, what, has, uh, what's, what has you be successful and then anything that you've been successful for? What has one win races? What's your theory about why Dungey is able to accomplish what Dungey's accomplished? What do y'all think? Go ahead and put it in the chat. What's the source or the, you know, the root of performance? You have to do what? So guys, the source of performance, what do you guys think the source of performance is? Put that you know, in. Said, an, said another way, what is it that you're working on that you are sure that if you just do more of that, you'll win? So here we got some practice, David says. Uh, Con passion and drive. Consistency. Train. Yep. Train. Right. Putting oneself in that position, Ben says. Okay. All right, so... We're going to do a little uh, a scientific experiment. Repetition is a good practice, Michelle, right? We'll do a little experiment. Now, um, if it were a law like gravity, and I want something like the law of gravity, right? Every time I, I take this sticky notepad and drop it, it is going to fall on the ground. No matter if it's raining outside, no matter if I like the track, uh, no matter if I'm mad at my girlfriend, no matter how I feel, no matter the conditions. So therefore, gravity, what goes up must come down is more of a law. And man, I like to do things on laws. Now, um, I've been consistent in practicing, and, but I haven't won yet. So what's missing? Keep practicing. So look, there's lots of things that I practice, but I'm not, I haven't reached the level of performance that I want in my life. So I'm going to say, although practice seems like a part of it, it's really not the source of what has me perform. Another one, you know, you could look at passion. Okay. I've been passionate about a lot of things in my life and some of them work out. And some of them don't. Mm -hmm. Now, you just got to look in your life. Aren't you passionate about things? Well, does the passion cause high performance? How about consistency? How about repetitions? Isn't there things you've doing over and over and over again, but you have not reached the higher level of performance that you want? So my point is, you, this is the inquiry we have in the advanced course, is we got to get all the myths out. And so I'm going to give a few of them. Look, you got to be driven like Dungy. You got to be committed like Dungy. You got to be talented like Dungy. You got to be good looking like Dungy. You know, all you got to have a factory bike like Dungy. You got to have money like Dungy. You got to have, a, a, you know, a, a mom like Carmichael to to whip your butt when you didn't want to train. We got all these myths what it takes to be a, a, a champion or what it takes to be someone that can perform at a high level. And we debunk those myths. We just debunk them. That's what the advanced course is about. 
so you can get all that nonsense out of the way. Uh, you don't need to be riding since you were uh, five years old. Another myth. Jeremy McGrath showed that you didn't have to. You, then, then when he started running, the new myth was you have to be a BMXer. That's what you got to be. And yeah. then, you know, that went out the window. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there's dedication. Thank you. Nope, 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 nope. This is what we're going to do in, in days in the advanced course is get all your myths, beliefs of what you think is the source of performance and, and get that that's not it. Why? Why do you want to get that that's not it? So you can work on what will really make the difference. And most of you, if not all of you, are working on the wrong things. Now, look, nothing wrong with doing practice, nothing wrong with uh, fundamentals, nothing wrong with dedication. It's just not the source of you getting the kind of results and performance that you're looking for. Yeah, all them things play a piece in that. Um, I mean, as far as dedication, you know, discipline, they're all little pieces of that puzzle, but not the source the root of what's going to have you have breakthroughs. Yeah. You see, uh, I, I used to, you know, I've been in the motorcycle industry a long time and I used to work for Bell Ray and Yamaha motor corporation, O'Neill USA. And so I was a lot around a lot of factory, uh, racers and team managers. And I remember, I'm not going to say the team, uh, but we were out, uh, they were doing a test and the team manager called the test because per their contract, they have to attend test sessions. And he said, I'm, I'm calling a test session because these guys won't practice. Now these are factory riders on a full on 18 wheeler team. Okay. Uh, really good guys that if I told you their name and, 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 and all of them were out there riding and I'm talking to the, to, to the team manager and he's like, yeah, this guy's not dedicated. This guy's got no drive to practice. But this guy does, and this guy doesn't. See, those are part of the myths. There's never a rider that's missing dedication. That's not what's missing. So then I go work on what we call a false cause. Let me go work on his dedication. No, you're working on the wrong thing. Oh, what he, he's not passionate about motocross. Nope, I'm working on the wrong thing. He doesn't have the right mindset. He's negative. Okay, let's go work on him being positive. Nope, that's not where you want to go to work. That's got nothing to do with it. Now, would you rather be a positive mindset than a negative one on race? You'd probably be more effective that way instead of complaining about the track, saying, man, I love the track. But that's not that's the source of you performing. You know, look, when Carmichael, they call him the GOAT. Why do they call him the GOAT, Scoop? Greatest of all time. Greatest of all time. And one of the things he did, I forget what year it was, he won every single round of the AMA Outdoor Nationals. Correct. Remember what year that was? Boy, that was probably, mm, I'm not sure. I forget. 13 maybe? I don't know. Yeah, maybe a little bit earlier than that. Maybe early. Okay. Every round, 13 rounds of the AMA, two motos each. How do you win every one? I'm telling you, that guy was in touch with really what makes the difference. Mm -hmm. He's standing in a particular place to be able to crash in the first corner and get run over. And I was there at Washougal when he did it and get up and still win. Yeah. I, then have a mud race, crash off the track. You, you name it what happened in 26 races, motocross, right? Yeah. And yeah. somehow, he was able to win them all. That guy was at the source of performance. He's not dealing with his motivation, with his mindset, with his uh, uh, discipline. He's dealing in a whole nother realm. And that's what we're going to deal with in the advanced course. Yep. And that school at the advanced course on February 17th, 18th, 19th, is going to put you in that world. And that's, that's the breakthroughs you can have with um with just what we're talking about 
We do have, uh, I was reading here, Aaron had said, uh, all I can say is, so me and Joe had done the Dormtown School a couple months back. Um, all I can, and he has a little testimonial. I wanted to read it for you guys. All I can say is taking that class in Dormtown was one of the best things I've done. The breakthroughs that I have had since then have been nothing short of amazing. I'll be there for the Vance School for sure. All right, looking forward to it, Aaron. Looking forward to seeing you there. Uh, Aaron's got a great statement here. I'm going to read it. Uh, and this is Aaron, the, who we, the Cajun cracker, who we worked with in Durhamtown. My source of performance is the goal that I stated in the beginning of this journey. I want to be the 35 plus champion. Therefore, I eat, sleep and breathe like the 35 plus champion that I am. Everything I do it to further my intentions and goals to be the 35 plus champion. In real life terms, this means I can walk past that Twinkie with confidence, <laughs> knowing that I don't need it, want it, nor have to have it because I am a champion. Wow. Now that's a powerful statement, okay? There's a guy that is playing a big game, and he gets that uh, he's going to have to be a champion to be the 35-plus champion. And, you know, what that looks like is, you know, every day going through life, right? We got a question from Ben, Joe, and that question, how does one get out of his own head? Thinking of the risk is keeping me from riding at my potential. Love it. Great question. I like where Ben's looking, right? Now, look, when you hear uh, mental training in motocross, you hear people wanting to put you in a certain mindset. Uh, we're not going in that direction. That's a psychological approach to uh, let me deal with my mind, my attitude, um, what I'm thinking, get it to think and in, in be in a certain mindset, and then I can perform. We're not going there. We're going in a total different direction. Get you out of your mind. OK, there's no nothing. There's nothing of value that's going on in your mind. OK, <laughs> I, I promise you when the gate drops, matter of fact, before that. When that one minute card goes up, uh, Dungey is not in his mind. He's not thinking he doesn't have a mindset. He's not being positive or negative. He's gone. And what he's trained himself to be, and obviously to be a champion, no different than Aaron, uh, just happens. It just happens. And somewhere when he gets off the track, after he gets the checkered flag, somewhere he gets back into his mind. But literally, what we're going to do, Ben, is get you out of your damn mind so you can race. Because <laughs> thinking about, oh, I'm going to get hurt. That's what's going on in your mind. But Dungy's not having those kind of thoughts. If he is, he's not present to them. He can't hear them. Something else is happening where Dungy is. Dungy's on the track. He's not in his head. And so, you know, our approach to mental, which again is the cornerstone of my, my coaching and training, is not to deal with your your mentals <laughs> what's going on in your mind it's doing the opposite and 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 again hard to explain on the webinar but you will experience that for yourself like oh my gosh that works yep and that's the beauty of a live one-on-one -on -one or or group even one-on-one -on -one, but group training that we're going to have here at the williams mx compound you know you're going to be open up to that world to that experience and and to the, oh, my God, that works, you know. Yeah. And you guys have all experienced this. You've all had a moto or you've had some experience that you forgot about yourself. You were like time stood still. You couldn't even remember it. It was like a sublime experience and you were operating from a different place. You know, I know I've had so many races like that. More, not, not as many as I'd like to. <laughs> I agree. But I've had enough where it's like, oh, yeah, I was in the zone, they say. Yep. Well, the zone is not a mental, it's not, a, not, a, not in your mind. You're out of your mind. It, life occurs differently. Things slow down. You can see things. How about when you, when you crash? 
Like I know when I crash, it's like everything goes into slow motion. How does that happen? Anyway, that's where we're going to go. And it's not like a bunch of uh, ho ho hocus focus stuff. We're not going to put pyramids on your head. We're not going to uh, sit in a circle and, you know, uh, hold hands. No nothing wrong with that. <laughs> as we have to say today. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, but we're not going to do that in this school. We're really going to get to what's going to make the difference so I can perform like I've trained, like I've trained my brain to perform. And a lot of you guys, like Aaron, has been riding for a long time. How do I take all of that which he's trained himself to be actually perform at the level he knows he can or at the level he knows he can ride at some times? And sometimes not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, Ben. No hand holding. Yeah, no hand holding. But if Gosh. you really want a hand holding, uh, New York Joe will be there and he'd be <laughs> glad to give you a big old bear hug. <laughs> Absolutely. I won't, I won't want a bear hug from New York Joe, that's for sure. <laughs> he might squeeze the life right out of me. <laughs> but, guys, if you got any questions about this school, do you got any concerns, any things that you're thinking about? Um, uh, of the school on uh, February 17th, 18th, 19th at Williams MX Training Compound. Throw it out there right now. We'd love to answer them questions. Um, if you have anything else on, on the technique and the fundamentals, throw them out there too. Um, yeah, one, one of the things we're going to work on in the advanced course is starts, right? Starts. Look, uh, uh, um, one of my coaches used to say, the one place that you can pass everybody is in the first corner. Mm-hmm. That is the most important corner of the race. Let's work on that. Most people do not work on starts. Uh, there's a lot of fear about starts. There's a lot of blah, 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 blah. We are going to we'll break down starts, guys. One, technique, what works. What these top guys are doing, and we'll show you a video to prove it. What they're doing, why they're doing it, have you do it and see like, oh, that's why they do that. Your one foot up start and all that other crazy stuff you do as an amateur. No, that's not what Dungy's doing. We're going to do what Dungy does. It works. Mm -hmm. How do I know? Guy gets hole shots. All right. Yeah. My point is we're going to break down starts like you've never believed. Okay. Once we're going to be the techniques, we're going to practice starts, practice starts, practice starts until you get like, oh my gosh, I'm a hole shot king. And at the amateur racing, I'm telling you, you will be a whole shot king. You'll, yep. you'll shock yourself. We're going to do that what works and, and starts. And it is going to be so much fun. And the part of the methodology of how we do that is the part of the methodology of what works. We break it down. First, I got to get you to see the fundamentals. Okay. Same in corners, same in whoops, same in jumps. First, I got you to get you to see the fundamentals. Not stuff that I or Scoob made up. These are what the pros are doing today. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to do uh, the starting gate. I got to get out of the starting gate straight and smooth. And so we're going to just work getting out of the gate straight and smooth one bike length. And we're going to have you do that so many times that you're going to be like, oh, that's the first part of starts. One, understanding the fundamentals. Two, getting out of the gate, not fast. I didn't say get out of the gate fast. I said get out of it straight and smooth. No wheel spin, no wheelie, no sideways. If you get out of the gate straight and smooth, and we work on that one piece of the start that you discover how that works, what it takes, then we're going to go five bike lengths out to grab your next gear. I got to get out straight, smooth, and I got to make a good gear shift. Right, either from first to second or second to third, depending on your bike. Okay, then we're going to deal with that. We're going to break it down. Stop watches the whole bit. Okay, then we're going to bring it out to the first corner. And that kind of method just works. Scoop, go ahead, jump in. Yeah, I was going to say on the start thing, just to back you up a little bit and say some other stuff on top of that is um, you kind of touched on it. Here's the thing, guys. They are not the amateur guys at the races are not practicing this. They're not. It's crazy. And there's, you know, they always say there's two parts to a race. Um, really, the first race is from that that gate to that first corner. If you can win that race, well, um, that that that's 
you're way ahead of the game from the first corner to the checkered flag. You know, it's a lot easier to be out front and let them guys work to get around you, okay? Even if you're faster. I've seen it many, many, many times where there is a dude, his, 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 he's a little bit faster, but you show up and he's correct. Um, and it's not about being the fastest out of the whole shot, just like Joe said. It's about being smooth and consistent and getting good drive. And, uh, boy, you can just light them guys up, you know, and, and that's what you're going to learn at this school, some of the stuff you're going to learn. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's not getting that new Yoshimir pipe. And don't get me wrong, I love a Yoshimir pipe. Mm -hmm. but more power out of your machine is not going to get you the whole shot. It just doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a whole shot king, you can put him on any bike, and somehow he gets the whole shot. So it's way more than power, okay? That is such a fool's game that I need more power out of my bike to get a whole shot. Now, when you're working at, at the pro level, that's a different story. But let me tell you a little story, okay? <laughs> the, the game we work is kind of what Aaron was talking about. See, Aaron has a future. He is living into a future called 35 plus champion 2018 in his, in his race series, okay? Aaron's not a guy uh, that works as a, uh, works and has kids. No, nope. who he is for himself is that, and he's a champion. Uh, in that future, what he created for himself is everything. See, when amateurs come to me and they always say, I want to get better, I can't help you to get better. That's not the work that I do. I can never help an amateur getting better because for you to have the kind of results you want to get, you're going to have to be a champion, not be an amateur. And what Aaron has done is created for himself as a possibility being a champion. And it's not a one day thing. No, it's 2018. 35 plus champion. Okay. Now I can work with him. So, uh, when I raced, uh, when I when I was coaching Bet Evans, this is back in 2009, uh, great guy. I worked with him for a long time. Uh, he turned pro, and, and I, I worked with him uh, through his first rookie year in Supercross. And, you know, we had a pretty good Honda bike, but we didn't have a factory bike. And um, one of the things, you know, he's like, man, I'm getting beat on the starts. I got to get better starts. And one of the guys we practiced with was Jake Weimer, Team Kawasaki. You guys all know Jake Weimer is still racing today. Mm -hmm. He was one of the top guys on the pro circuit team. And we practiced with him. And Jake told us, he's like, Ben, um, we have a different gearbox in our factory bikes. Uh, you, you'll never get out of the gate quick enough on second gear on that stock bike. Our gearboxes are different. So when we're in second to do the starts, we got so much drive to get out of that gate quick. He goes, to beat, to get a good start, you're going to have to learn how to start in first gear and grab second as you cross the gate. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, look, we had a pretty good bike. We didn't have a factory bike, but we had to beat guys with factory bikes. So one of the things we did, we called up Doug Dubach. Uh, Doug Dubach, who owns Dubach uh, Racing, you know, they make exhaust pipes and stuff. Well, Doug, back when he rode for Team Yamaha, he was the whole shot king. He he would get mm -hmm. awesome starts. And so uh, he sponsored uh, Ben, and I knew Doug back in the O'Neill days, and I worked at Yamaha and stuff. So we called up Doug, and we said, hey, look, Ben's got to get better starts to win the championship here. Uh, would you come out and help us? He came out and worked with us for a whole day. Now, what he told us, okay, didn't make the difference. And I know you guys just are dying for information. Oh, man, if I knew what Doug Dubach told you, and then I could get a whole shot. Look, not saying anything that, that Doug gave us wasn't valuable, but the information he gave us didn't make the difference. What made the difference was you have a guy like Aaron that was out to win the Supercross championship his first year. That's a crazy person, okay? But he was willing to, to, to be that, to stand for that goal 
possibility, whatever you want to call it happening and taking the actions like not eating the Twinkie and calling up Doug Dubach and saying, I need help. Mm-hmm. Well, Doug worked for us for a whole day. He told us this, he showed us that we, we did all these starts. We video, we did all this stuff. We go to Anaheim too. What kind of start you think Ben got on a Honda stock Honda with a stock transmission against the Geico Honda bikes and pro circuit Kawasaki's fifth place. Fifth place start. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How does that happen? How does that happen against factory bikes? Well, I'm going to say he was being a champion. And by working with Doug and being trained by a whole shot king, he now saw who he was and what was possible as different than he did before. And man, he did it. And from that day on, you know, he's been amazing at starts. Mm -hmm. So look, that's what's going to happen in this school. I can give you all sorts of tips and advice, and we're going to give you plenty of that stuff. But until what we say changes how you see yourself and what's possible, nothing's going to be remarkable. It's just going to be more of the same, Mm -hmm. just better, different. Yep. So it's not so much what, it's what you are able to give your word to and be that, like Aaron says, day in and day out, that will give you the extraordinary performance. And that's what these schools are about. Absolutely. So if you guys are interested in joining this school and working with me, Joe Degano from MX Coach and Joe B will be there, what we call New York Joe. Um, I just, if you can see in the comment section, I just put a link in there. You guys can click that link and it'll take you right to uh, MX Coach schedule page. And right on the top of that page, you'll be able to see right where you can sign up for, uh, you know, the one day, the two day, or all three. Um, there's a button right there you can hit, take you to a PayPal link, and you guys can get your sign, self signed up and, uh, and experience a school with me. Myself, Scoob from Dirt Soldiers Motocross Training Academy, Joe from mxcoach.com. So it awesome. should be in there, guys. If you see it, hit that link yeah. and you click jump. on the on the microphone thing. It says offers. Yep, and it should pop it in. Yep, that's it on the uh, offers thing. It it, it actually um, that link will take you guys right to the page. So it, it come up a little bit different than I was. Technology make making a mistake again, but it's no big deal. If you hit that register now button. That will take you right to where you need to go and it'll give you all the information. So. Awesome. One more thing I want to address, Ben. Uh, uh, yeah. David, David had a question about uh, he's new to motocross. Look, mm-hmm. this is the place to be, David. We are going to teach you the fundamentals. And I promise you, there's not many coaches that are going to teach you the fundamentals of motocross. In every other, other sport, they're going to teach you fundamentals. We're going to teach you the fundamentals. We're going to get you in sync with the bike, in sync with the laws of physics. You're going to have more control, more confidence, and less boo-boos, okay? <laughs> and then you can build from there. So, yeah. so you know, that is the place to be. He, he says also, Joe, about he wants to learn the good habits, the good riding habits in that same comment. And uh, that's where they come from, you know? Um, Look, good old scientific facts. <laughs> and that, you know, if you're willing, you'll discover for yourself that, yeah, that works. Mm-hmm. And then we'll show you that the pros are doing it. And you'd be like, oh, I get it. Well, join us, guys. That's going to be February 17th, 18th, and 19th in uh, Williams MX Training Compound pound near Spartanburg, South Carolina. Hit that, uh, that microphone there. That'll take you to the red. You can hit that button, take you to the page where you can sign up. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can contact me, um, scoob, uh, mxscoob at gmail.com. You can also contact Joe. At uh, Joe, it's uh, Joe Degano Coaching.com. It's at, it's at Joe at Degano Coaching.com. Correct. And you can get it on MXCoach.com. There's a link. It'll it'll be on that web his website also. One more thing I want to say is, look, some of you may have some considerations, right? Um, oh, it's a far drive for me, or it's a lot of money, or you know, uh, or something else. Um, if you want to have a breakthrough in, in your racing and motocross. Okay. Well, let me say it a different way. 
if you want a breakthrough in performance, no matter how you define performance, some people want to have fun and be able to keep up with their buddies. Other people want to have confidence and be able to accomplish things that are for them. Not everyone wants to win races and, and win a championship. But if you're serious about racing and want to really invest in something that will make a lasting difference in your racing career and fun, this is it. And I guarantee it. Okay, if you're not fully satisfied with the $649 or the $299, you are going to get a 100% refund. I mean, I completely guarantee that it will be well worth your time and the money. Been doing this for a long time. Uh, go on my webpage and look at the testimonials. I mean, the, the people that have accomplished amazing things are on there. Uh, but I guarantee your satisfaction. So whatever's in the way, right, is typically in the way of your racing anyhow. Right? Oh, I'm going to do it later, next year, next week. Just go on that link, uh, see what it is, pick the school that's going to work for you. It's going to bring you to PayPal. You know, register, right? Register. Do what it takes to register. If you have some considerations, you know, contact me or contact Scoob, and we'll work with you to get, get over those considerations. See, what it takes to get into school is the same thing it takes to get over whatever level that you're struggling with. And, and it's usually in the world of, I've got to just go for it. I've got to take action. I've got to stop telling myself next week, next time, later. And I've got to just act. That's typically it. So, you know, again, we're coaches, Scoob and I. Reach out to us and let us work with you if you see that this is something you want to do and we'll get you in there. Scoob, anything else? Absolutely. Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better. Um, I see email says our group from Norway has a little travel challenges. Um, but you no know what? Problem. Look, email, I'm going to be in Barcelona in March. I was just in Sweden uh, in September. Uh, then I'm going to be in London. Then I'm going to be in Prague. So, you know, uh, you want to do a school in Norway? No problem. Contact me through email, get on MX Coach. And if you got, you know, enough guys, next time I'm in Europe, which will be February, we'll come out and do a school in Norway. Scoob's got his passport. Absolutely. Email, we, I've been to the island of Corso and, and just, uh, you know, we got Michelle on the webinar today who actually came to our last, me and Joe's last dorm town school, and he traveled all the way from Corso. So, like Joe said, you know, it's uh, you got to make that commitment and jump on, you know, and then and it'll come together for you. Yeah, my email is joe at Degano coaching dot com. I just put it in the chat box. Yeah, throw mine in there, too, for you guys. So you can contact. Yep, we're international. Let's do it. As long as you've got a translator, we can we can do anything. Absolutely. <laughs> but in Norway, everyone is really educated there, way more than us Americans. You guys speak several languages. <laughs> well, Joe, it's been a great webinar. That's fun, man. Um, I'm looking forward to these three days. I can't wait to get down there and do this um, and, and put on yeah, a that's great That's one thing, Scoo. Let me say, we are going to have the time of our lives. Look, I know Absolutely. I'm serious and intense. You yeah. damn right I am. Absolutely. And we are going to have so much fun. You know, we got some returning guys coming from last school. Oh, we got a heck of a community. We're, we're going to have a great time. Yeah. Go ahead, Scoop. Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say, you know, we, we, we get serious about this at times and we get into our, uh, into our, when we're speaking of our coaching, but you know, when it boils down to it, we, we have, we like to have fun too. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. Um, it's going to be serious coaching, but it's also, it's going to be fun. Guaranteed. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what level you're at. We've got all mixed. It's all the same when it comes down to, you having a breakthrough at whatever level you're at. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Let's see if we got any more questions here. Um, looks like that's about it. So, guys, listen. If you want, um, you see that link on the offer sign, you can hit that. You see the two emails in there. You can hit uh, either me or Joe. If you have any questions about this, but my suggestion is jump on it, make that commitment, go for it, and you're going to learn a lot of stuff. Just like you learn in this webinar, the same thing, okay? And um, it's uh, 
go over that register button, get yourself signed up, and we, we will look forward to meeting you, and coaching you to have, to have breakthroughs. Awesome. And for you guys that are already registered and coming, can't wait to work with you guys. We are going to have the time of our lives on that Williams MX compound. I can't wait. We are going to have the place to ourselves. It is a private training facility. It's a, you're in this school and you come to the school. It's just going to be us. It's me, Joe. It's going to be Joe, uh, New York, Joe, Joe Bufonzio from amateur MX. Uh, or is it MX amateur coaching? Is that correct? Amateur motocross coach. Amateur mo coaching. Um, it's going to be there and it's just going to be us private. No one else. Everyone in the school. We got uh, figure eight drills there. Other obstacles there. A beautiful motocross track. As we said earlier in the beginning of this. Uh, webinar that I designed with a buddy of mine. They got camper hookups there, um, all the camping plenty in the world there, yeah. plenty of room. Um, hotels so, yeah. close by, hotels close camp, camp out. We got plug ins, right? And, and the, you know, the cool thing is, it's you know, Scoob designed it. Scoob's been a coach for 17 years. So we got whoops so that you can practice on, not that are going to break your neck. Absolutely. Right? We've got yeah. jumps that you can practice and get the the fundamentals of jumping down without worrying about crashing. So, you know, it's a really designed as a training facility, which is just ideal. I love that. So we can work up as your confidence uh, works up. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's it. It's It was designed, guys. It was designed not to be. It was designed for training this track. OK. And it was designed to. Do exactly what just Joe just said. Start working on your confidence and build that confidence up. It's not starting off with these crazy monster energy supercross whoops, right? <laughs> that are, we're not starting there. They're not them kind of whoops, right? So, and that that's how this track was built. How I had it built from the guy that was running the dozer for me, and we made sure it was built that way. And we took our time. If it was if it wasn't like we liked it, I test rode it right. And if, if it just didn't sit right with me, we had it changed. Okay, and. Um, you know, so it's a great, great, great training facility. Um, it's going to be a great place to put on this school and uh, a good, good family atmosphere up there. Good, good people. And uh, so I look forward to seeing you guys all there. Really appreciate everybody being on this webinar. Thank you so much for the questions. Great questions. OK. Um, email just said one thing. Recommend everyone here. Thank you, email. I appreciate that. Right and that's my online motocross training academy. So yeah. great. Thanks, email. Appreciate that. You you gotta sign up and get yourself more way over here, buddy. We gotta meet you. <laughs> that's awesome. Anything else, Joe? That's it, Scoop. See you guys in South Carolina. See you guys in South Carolina. Appreciate everyone being on here. Um, you got our emails in there. Hit that button. That'll take you over and get your guy, get your uh, get you guys signed up to that to the school and we'll see you in South Carolina. Appreciate it. Okay, guys. All right. We'll see you later. See you then. Yep.